A very warm welcome from ITC's headquarters in Geneva. My name is Mathieu Lamolle and I coordinate the work on ITC Standards Map Database here uh, for the Trade for Sustainable Development program. ITC has been working now since a few months with the IDH and his team on the Sustainable Spices Initiative with the aim to develop a web portal accessible from www.standardsmap.org SSI to enable the comparison of sustainability standards that operate in the spices sector. So the purpose of this video message is to give you a teaser to present you the web portal prototype that we have built so far, the first filters that enable you to identify standards, scan their main characteristics and compare them. Here is the homepage of the Sustainable Spices Initiative web portal which recycles the ITC standards map website but provides you with additional filters and specificities to review and compare standards that are applicable to the spices sector. So by clicking on enter the user will be uh, directly brought into the portal which is structured and organized around three major uh, modules. The identify where you can screen through different standards and have a list that pertains to certain criteria, the quick scan review of the main standards characteristics, and then the comparison. There is also a guided tour where you can actually review pieces of the web pages throughout the portal. What do you see on the screen and as a user, what are you suggested to do? The identify module is actually uh, offering you the list of standards that have been selected as part of the SSI portal. So you have a number of standards that are uh, appearing here in the list, but you can also select some filters. Would you like to go into more detailed analysis like standards that pertain to particular products uh, with certain specificities or that are produced in a certain country or addressing a certain market? So in this case, you would be able to actually select some standards from the list. It is really up to you to decide which standards make most sense. And you can really go through any one that is in the list and make your own decision and selection. From the selection, you can now, now address the quick scan module. Quick scan will offer you a perspective of those main characteristics of the standards. So as you see, they appear here. I have selected EU Organic Farming, Fair Trade International, and also Rainforest Alliance Sustainable Agriculture Network. As you click on the logo, the page gets automatically updated with information on those standards. So in the table below, you have the menu that goes from an overview of the standard towards information around assurance, audits, traceability, support, and cost. Very important is the second horizontal menu of the quick scan, which is about the requirements. Within the requirements, you're able, as a user, to actually review how the standard is organized. So in this case, Rainforest Alliance was selected. So if you take the whole standard from SAN, Sustainable Agriculture Network, it focuses on environmental issues, social, but also management, quality, and ethics. Obviously, you could now look at the number of requirements hotspots that are linked in the ITC standards map database. So 75 on the environment, same on social issues, 21 for management, 18 on quality, and seven on ethics. The same information is displayed in a spider graph. So you have a, a perspective about the main issues covered. But the interesting feature in the tool is that you can provide information not just on the number of requirements, but also on, say, for instance, degree of obligation, criticality, is the requirement explicitly covered or not so much of an explicit reference in the document, what is the degree of implementation that is required by the selected standard. That, as an example, is interesting that Rainforest Alliance and uh, Fair Trade or EU Organic Farming will have a different way to address which requirements have to be met immediately and which are the requirements that standards would require their producers to actually meet in a longer breakdown. So in this case, this is fair trade that has been selected. And if you look at the degree of obligation, you will see very clearly the continuous improvement approach that fair trade requires. 
many requirements are to be met immediately, like about half of them, but then you have a number of requirements that have to be met within one year, or three years, or even five years. This is like moving towards sustainability objectives. In terms of countdown of the requirements and the breakdown, again, if you select that in the menu, you will see the chart that describes the same information, but by sustainability chapter. So environment, social management, quality, and ethics. Below the graphs, very important as well, the whole structure of the standard is displayed. So it follows the structure as a tree structure from environment to social management, quality, and ethics. And you will be able to review like under biodiversity as an example, which are the core requirements from fair trade or EU organic farming or even uh, Rainforest Alliance. You just browse through the criteria and for any piece of information, you can always click the more information button that will give you the full details about where does the data come from, which is the version of the standard, which page number, localization details, web link, where you can actually really look at the whole data for that particular issue in the standard. So the, the, the quick scan review is a snapshot of what does the standard cover and how does it operate. Now this is really a view which is one standard at a time, one initiative at a time. It will be interesting then for users to go to the comparison module and in the comparison module to run the same type of analysis but with the standards displayed side by side. So by displaying the standards side by side, you will see here in the same graphic the standards that will be represented in terms of their scope. So the main focus on environment or social management quality and ethics. The graphics are being displayed and also able for you to review from an interactive search where you can remove elements of the legend and just present whatever information makes sense to you as a user. Uh, graphics could be selected in different forms. It is really up to the user to see which kind of information makes most sense to them to display the information and represent the various standards. Below the graphics, just like we had in the quick scan, is a table that presents you the different criteria. Are they covered, yes or no, by the various standards? Now, if you would like to make a precise analysis using environment as a, as a focus, then of course the user can just click on environment and generate a table and a graphic design that focuses just on the environmental chapters of the standards. So here we go with the standards being displayed side by side on the various environmental chapters. So we have soil, use of chemicals, biodiversity, waste, water, energy, climate, but as an additional filter that we have enabled in the tool, it's also a possibility to benchmark the standards against a fixed reference. And the fixed reference would be, in this case, we suggest global gap crops, but you can select another reference in the, in the selection menu, obviously. If you run the benchmark, that means that you are now displaying standards data against the reference. Global gap, in this case, would be providing the information, are the standards covering the same issues? Are they missing criteria? Like for instance, Global Gap has a number of recommendations which could be not covered by some standards. And which are the additional criteria that the standards do cover? So in green, in the benchmarking table, you see here which criteria are covered by both the, the benchmark reference uh, Global Gap and by the EU organic farming which are the ones that are not covered or which are the additional criteria covered by the EU organic farming and not required under Global Gap certification. Same type of information below is displayed in the graphic, so you can filter now against the reference like Global Gap. You take all the issues that are covered by Global Gap and you just wonder if the standards are covering them yes or no. The process is also very straightforward. You have the information displayed and you can just open, for instance, a certain particular con concept like soil quality and review if the standards are meeting 
this or covering it and by just reading the table you will be able to see if yes or no the standards cover it in more or less the same way. This is about social comparisons of the standards, uh, sorry, environmental comparisons of the standards. Under social, there has been some requests from members and companies to also look at uh, GSCP as a reference code. Not necessarily using GSCP as a reference, there are other social initiatives that could be used. But would that be the case? Then again here, the same functionality is enabling you as a user to decide which is the reference you'd like to use. And there are many international references that we could add to the web portal, ILO standards, uh, GSCP is, is one, but there are other initiatives like BSCI or SA8000. So just by adding those initiatives and references into the tool, you will be able to run the same type of comparison. Like if you take GSCP, then again, are the standards covering the same issues as the GSCP reference code? Yes or no? Um, well, the table below will display the same type of analysis if yes or no social issues are fully covered by the, uh, the standards. So GSCP appears as the outer blue circle and the standards come on top of them. Yeah, there are some issues that are probably not covered and those ones will be provided in the table below. So we understand, for instance, that the EU organic farming, it is not a social standard. It is not covering that particular issue. But if you look at other types of standards, obviously some issues are of key importance to the standards and it is interesting to review which ones these are. So the web portal of the Sustainable Spices Initiative, in a summary, offers you as a user to review, compare and contrast standards that are applicable to spices. You can run dedicated comparisons on the standards content and scope. You can review from certain benchmarks and references under environment or social, what would be the differences of the standards against that particular reference. But also, and as importantly, you will be able here in the About the Standards tab to run comparisons on the processes of the standards. And this is important because the standards are uh, operating differently when it comes to audits and then claims, support, the governance, the whole standard setting process. So the table below offers you that perspective where you can review what are the main elements of the standards and how, for instance, fair trade defines a certain compliance assessment policy, uh, improvements and conformity assessment, corrective actions, etc. So those two elements, the content of the standards, as well as the processes of the standards, are very important to manage. This will be it for the uh, Sustainable Spices Initiative. We look forward to hearing back from the members, the companies and uh, or partners at IDH on how the web portal can be enabled and further developed in order to meet your needs and to enable all target users from the traders and the manufacturers, the brands and the buyers and the producers associations to benefit from the information. Thank you very much and we will be in touch again very soon. The International Trade Center. Export impact for good.